Ayo, hey, let's go. What's not coming in? All right, let's talk about this then. We got three speeders out already, Tano. What are we thinking about this, mate? I'm agreed, mate. But you know, uh, what can we say? The fourth speedster that isn't a speedster, right? <laughs> yeah, it's basically a speedster. They were cooking on that last game, so who actually won that last game? I can't remember. We were the purple team, so we had a great start. We, for... did, we have a great. For first time ever, did we make a great start for purple team? It was the one 0 We did. We did. Oh yeah, come on. Do you understand? Momentum, mate. Purple are usually struggle in me, so you know, we definitely need to see the one that, yeah, <clears throat> put up the effort. And Diego selecting the Sable, I may just do that. We know how much of a nuisance they were that game, buddy. They were on my ass 24 7. Absolutely, they need that Tano in the face of Mime Umbreon. This is going to be a tough one. And Akari Ryo has picked up Mewtwo Y. It's got some recent buffs in the patches, mate, and that thing is looking good now. Followed by Cakes on the slow bro. Jeez, that comp is toxic so far. But in reply, Club Fable to join the Sable is the next support Tano and Duraladon as well. Oh, they've got the big asthma machine, the Duraladon, mate. I'm excited for that one. It is very good at ripping, even though it did get nerfed. It, it's its main thing, right? It's just having that rip capability. It's definitely not as good as it used to be, but that's why you pick up that one. And let's see if that's what Snivy takes the approach with. They do have the assistance of that with that tussle and of course the Serena to provide that frontline, buddy. But I do feel like Orange Team has the better comp here. Really. Well, he's sat behind the frontline they've got. It's pretty much if we test the president comp, right? And that really does work. Yeah, with the recent buffs, the X attack on there as well. We know what Hikari Ryu can do on that. And flanked by all those, ins all that insane bulk here, it's going to be a tough one for Purple. But I've just got word time that we were the orange team last time, so Purple got some work to do after our insane performance last match. Oh, no, buddy. Okay, let's put that one dot onto the orange side. So it's 0 1 right now. Orange taking the first win by a heavy carry of the, the streamers. So <laughs> let's hope they can continue it, buddy. Or. I mean, Todd is still representing us over there on the orange side, so... Yeah, tonight, orange side is stream team. Dream team, bitches! <laughs> stream team, dream team. So true, but, I don't know, you never, you can never count out a, a ridiculous comp like Purple has. So let's see where this one goes. We're going to go into game two for the night. The first one we're not actually playing. Is it going to be Duraladon taking that central area? It looks like it, and of course, Diego doing what Diego does, going straight for that invasion. Yeah, that's it. just what we want to see in a Protect the President comp, like we were saying, Tano. I'm a bit surprised not to see the Chansey picking up the jungle here, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting one to see how Akari Rai deals with this instant invade from Diego. Such a capable player on the Sabre. Like, can he pick up this bluff here? Making himself known already, mate. Yeah, are they going to be able to grab it? I think, no, Akari Rai did manage to grab that one, but it was very close. But that's the difficulty. They were waiting for Sabre Light to dive on in and then got the final hit on it. So it seems like Diego has decided to just come back down into his bottom lane, provide some assistance to its Serena. You do need to ensure that you get the Serena, the Serena Evo, buddy. Because as soon as Umbreon's on the field, it's going to completely change the pressure in this lane. I really like that invade from Diego from the start there, Tano. Look how long it's taken Hikari Ryu. He might just make it down for the Midbirds in time, but look at the time on the clock. Not going to be set at all with only five seconds to go. Just about makes it in time. But it is an overload on this bot side, which we love to see. Top side also, mate. It's all kicking off up there. Yeah, and it looks like all of that is going to go to purple side. Nobody can get in close. Nivy there with a cannon, just dropping that damage down onto that mime and slow poke. They haven't managed to get their Evo yet, buddy, and it looks Ooh. like Crustle may clean them up. They do just get out of the range of that Duraladon, but they do score some points. We now have a Clefable on the field. We've got Trico dropping that damage on that mime. It does so much damage to begin with, buddy, when you throw them into those walls. But three mons is probably not a good idea to go up against. They don't mind, though. They're going to continue to try and do that. They've got the XP, get themselves out of the way, but this Snivy is just so difficult to handle. It's just sat behind that crystal, dropping absolute beams with that cannon right now. Yeah, they have done so well on top, even though it is a uh, disc grab there with the level six on the mine played really well. The first set of midbirds are already on the field, Tano. It seems like this has gone so quick. Both teams get some really important stacks on the top side, and that flash cannon is doing all sorts of work at that mid pit there. Yeah, but we've seen this Mewtwo Y get close onto Snivy there, but of course, that Clefable there to provide the healing, so they decided to let that one go. That was going to be a good KO. Tej, in the meantime, is trying to hold off three of them. Look, but he's got the smile, and he's surprisingly going to make it out of there. We've got Diego trying to chase him down. He's one HP and a dream. Can he <laughs> yes, he does. Eats that one up. We see Bebby Sylvia trying to get back onto this pad as Clefable, but a Mewtwo Y has gone mega, and that's going to drop a lot of damage. The Citrus Berries are there to provide the assistance. We've got the 720 spawned in. But it looks like the AoE from Hikari Ryu is going to take the most of that flash cannon is here and that's going to take up the big boy. Some huge pressure coming in from Purple down on this bottom lane. They may be still Clefable though. Orange side taking that one. It's going to change the pressure down here now. 
that's a really important match for the supports on the side of Purple Diego and I think it's Pepe on that Clough Abel really need to zone in on that Mewtwo Y make it really difficult for that to start popping off gonna have to tick over to level 9 here for the, these bottom objectives here well, the top side's up as well <laughs> it's everywhere mate Oh, there we go. They, they come down with the side strike. That's going to do a lot of TC, but it doesn't do enough just yet. Thank you for the follow, by the way, on Twitch. In the meantime, though, we've got three of them down here, four of them down here in this bottom lane. Pepe is going to go down again. Clefable getting very weak. They do go. We've got a flash cannon coming in. They don't pick up Umbri on those, but he turns. He's got those citrus berries to carry Ryo getting the stun from Diego, but with the side strike that they do it, they take him down the same line, and now the pressure is on the side of Orange down here. They're going to go for the rip on the Reggie Rock with Tench providing some zoning, oh. but they're going to fall on the pad when it's... I don't know who's going to be able to come in and get this because Serena and that Duraludon have a good chance of doing just that. Akari Ryo continuing to put the pressure on, but we see Serena come oh, down and it's the Duraludon that locks it in. Well done, Purple Team. Absolutely huge defense from there from Star on that pad picking up Ted. He was trying to put some points in that base, get his stacks in. There is a push onto this base, Tano. It's all popping off again. The revolving ruin was out there. I think got stunned out of it. Yeah, they did. I think it was Tej that managed to do that with a final play, and then they pop their own Unite move and take down two. Or inside, putting on a huge defense against Purple. They may have got the objective, buddy, but they're now going to be able to score some points for Orange. 151 in this bottom pad so far. They could get a good overcap if that's what they want to do, but it seems like Krico is just going to pick up that last five, and look at a 27 overcap if they get that in. Yeah, that fight was going the way of Purple, and Tej popped that Moonlight Prance time to completely turn that fight around, and look at that overcap now. 27 points going in from Tisgrab on the mine. 180 81 to 45 as we tick over to the mid game here the infinite cyburn is out and <laughs> orange just want to keep pushing here time that they do duraludon pops their own unite move and that's gonna burn baby burn they sit themselves back into that push they've got that flash cannon but there's free go to throw them out of the way scores have been put into that bottom pad g2 196 points for orange team right now buddy they are really beginning to take this game away level wise though they are catching up over on the purple side they just need to score more points yeah, they've got the Pokemon to do it, right? If Diego just like drops up, starts picking points up and gets some back caps on, the slow beam is out from Cakes there. Just trying to survive, that's a big pickup. All four players just zoning in on Cakes there, gets a really important XP. Can they make an assault onto this base? They really need to get points in. There's a random hyper beam there, doesn't connect with anyone at the time. It doesn't land on anyone, but Ted just got three of them around him right now. He just put those fam into them, Bush, and with those Unite moves and Showtime, it's going to change the way this fight's going to take place. Les does manage to get out on that Crustle. They pop their Rebel, the uh, Rubble rather, but they haven't managed to get any KOs over on the side of Purple just yet. They do have that Flash Cannon doing absolute bits for the damage, mate, but look how weak Trico is. Diego is in the back line. They're trying to throw some boop out, cause some damage, but they haven't been able to pick up a KO with that yet. I can't believe how weak Trico is. They're still coming in, though. There's the Queen ascendance and it's the Duraludon that locks in the Reki. That doing bits in the back line with Flash Cannon is really being the decider for Purple Team right now. But there's the Infinite Cyber and he takes down one and nearly taking down another one as well. And here we go. Mano has come to cut buddy. Double KO. They could go for Diego here. They're nearly going to take down the Serena. <laughs> Baby, that's a triple. Diego is going to be the one to defend this pad, but they've got three against them. I don't think they're going to be able to. A really nice overcap for Orange Team there. Yeah, huge 33 overcap. We see Hikari Raya with the insane play there on the Mewtwo Y. It was so huge. The team getting every player low, put that infinite cyber and takes down at least two members. Then the assault was on. Just don't. You should not mess with the Mewtwo Y when it is in that mega evolution, Tano. <laughs> but will he get that back for the Rayquaza pit? Because that could be the difference in this match. They are 235 points to 45 at the minute in favour of Orange. They played so well. Tej, standout performer so far with so many important Moonlight Prance in the fights, Tano. That's why we're seeing Akari Ryo grab all of that jungle farm. They want that Unite move back. It's so important for team fights, especially at the Rayquaza. But that was some insane zoning that Tench just put on down in this bottom lane. But nobody was on that red eye, so they just weren't able to do enough, buddy. And I think they're going to have to abandon the attack onto this red eye. To be honest, out of all the regs, it's probably the one that you're not too worried about. But look at this. Akari Ryo has come back in, taken down Diego. Does he lock in the objective? Yes, he does. No concerns at all. There's the Rebel Rouser coming out of meds. We're now hitting 208. This is going to be the Rayquaza battle. We've the Serena back up, Diego just spawning in, but the defense that Orange can put on because they have their T1 still up down here, buddy. And we have another oh, mega man. on a carry Ryu. They're gonna take down Crystal and they can just continue ripping now. They've got to go onto this Ray Plaza. They have the damage, they also have their Unite move then. So we're gonna be important about that one. I think they're gonna take this victory back. Yeah, same from Ted and Cakes there, knowing that the purple side is down at least two players in big trouble. Oh, no, Diego! <laughs> Let him cook! Insane steal! What? Out of nowhere, Tano. Diego with an absolute Somebody clip broken, that! Broken <laughs> Somebody clip that! Where's the clip? Quick, create a dashboard. 
Cakes just to save Ted in the nick of time. We've done an absolutely insane job defending that pad, and now we've got Hikari Raya and uh, Trico up top there. All the shields are gone, Tano. Another 24 snuck in from Saber. They still got that shield up. Can they get enough points in Tano off that absolutely insane steal at Ray? Diego, man of the match, all of a sudden taking it away from Ted. Yeah, the difficulty is there isn't any change on the field, buddy. Of course, Serena's got that 43, but they just need to be able to go and get those points in. They've only got the seven right oh, now. Mez. They need more. Mez there with the 13. They do have a shield, but it's a new too wide, but it's just going to rip any shield that's there, especially when you've got Tej popping onto them as well. I think Orange Team have managed to do this with some really good defense from them. Unfortunate, because oh. that's the most disgusting steal I have witnessed of Pokemon Unite. Unbelievable. I hope I got to the clip in time. I'm not sure, to be honest, but if not, I will go back and clip that later Diego that was insane that has to be <laughs> what's going on unbelievable Tana. GG, on that steal. GG cakes great defense from yourself and Ted you work really well as a team what are you talking about I honestly oh, thought that was a lock-in I thought that was a lock-in for Orange Team on the, on the secure yeah. Diego was so sly with Diego. it there you go how close is this really, game really trying to stun him out that's got that. I really thought my numbers were going to be so different that whole game was insane in periods like yeah. Mano is insane on the really YouTube really one. Really Absolutely insane. What a match. So close. Oh my god, 157k. I'll tell you what. Why did Umbreon not yeah. go? Which, I don't know. Why, why, <laughs> Star, why you, you did really well on your team there. You pulled that so close. Like, that's what we love to see. Even in these community nights, it can be really close, right? Like, as soon as you take our streamers out of there, you know, it's not fair we play, you know, we're just far too OP. 